Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, the DRF.com formulator race of the day for Saturday, February the 25th. Race number 12 at Gulfstream Park. We're going six and a half furlongs and it is the grade three Gulfstream Park Sprint Stakes. Let's take a look at the field and remember folks, head on over to the race of the day event page on DRF.com, download those free formulator pass performances and handicap along with us in post position order. We will begin with the returnee, the number one unified. We haven't seen him since June. Boy, he was good in his first three starts, and he was just supposed to breeze on through in the grade three Pegasus and route to the Haskell and becoming a very important second season three-year-old right. that just didn't materialize. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Something went wrong with him in that race. He did not run his race on June 19th, and we have not seen him since. Obviously, something went wrong. Um, if you can find a way to get past that one, and I'm not saying it's an easy thing to do, but if you can get past it, the first three starts of this horse's career made him look like one of the better three-year-olds in the country last year. We'll see what he gets off the layoff. But he showed he can run well fresh at his career debut right over this track, sprinting yeah. with a 99 a buyer debut. speed figure. It'll be interesting to see if Jimmy Jerkins has him fully cranked up in here, but unified the number one on his best day. He could actually be the horse to beat. Yeah, on his best day, he could. That's very true. Number two is Delta Bluesman. I wonder where Delta Bluesman is from a form standpoint. Last spring and into the summer, he popped three consecutive triple-digit buyer speed figures. Since then, though, he's been a little bit disappointing. Beaten favorite in his last two races. And I don't like him that much the further we get away from six furlongs. I like him yes. at six. I like him at five and a half. Six and a half might be tough, but he's got speed. I agree with that, all that stuff. He does have speed. That's to his advantage. Um, but it's not like there's no other speed in this race. And he does... I. I don't like his recent race. I understand that after that little win streak he went on, there's a Vanderbilt in there, there's a Breeders' Cup sprint in there. He's not going to win those races, but still, I mean, what was his excuse last time? How did he not win that race? A little bit disappointing in that race. Never really yeah. seemed comfortable, and he got beat by a horse we'll talk about in a bit, the four early entry. Before we get to early entry, we'll talk about the three. Divine Warrior, who's getting back to dirt after a couple of nice performances on the grass. His most recent start on dirt, he ran a fairly promising recount to a length and a mm -hmm. half. I I mean, that recount came back to win the bet on Sunshine at Churchill with a 93, right. second in the King Cotton at Oaklawn with a 96. He's got some tactical speed. His, his, his races, though, are just not fast on dirt. Yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, he's never run a race on the main track that's going to beat this field. Kathleen O'Connell's done a great job with the four early entry. The source has won four out of his last five races. He is unbeaten at Gulfstream Park. He can be forward. He draws outside of Delta Bluesman again. And a good trip is probably coming. He's got some fast races. The question is, is he good enough? I don't think there's any reason to say he's not. I think he's got a big shot. I agree with that, Dan. We'll see what we get. He's obviously going to face a couple of much better horses here than the ones he's been beating lately, although he's got unified off a layoff here, so that's got to help him. I mean, there's just no real way to you know, pick apart his recent form and say that he doesn't have a chance in here. Squadron A was a nibbler, to be kind early in his career and he found himself towards the end of last year for trainer Dale Romans. He won a non-winners of two other then. He got a great trip up the rail to win the grade three Mr. Prospector at a big price over Delta Bluesman and they just kind of threw him to the wolves last time yeah. out of the Gulfstream Park handicap. A, a little bit too far. B, Sharp Aztec is too much horse for him. Yeah. He's turning back. He needs a hot yeah. and contested pace to set him up. Right. He needs some heavy hitting going on up front here if he's going to come and just hope this thing falls apart for him. Mind your biscuits coming in this race after beating Sharpest Tech in the grade one Malibu to complete a very good three-year-old campaign. that saw him earn over $700,000. Not bad for a New York bred, awarded second purse money in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. He came and got Sharpest Tech last time out, and Sharpest Tech came back to win the Gulfstream Park Handicap over Squadron A and was only a 107 buyer right. heading to Dubai. He's got tactical speed. He's well posted on the outside. New barn. Yeah, he's got re like this horse just kept improving last year as a three-year-old one, one race and then he'd come back for his next one. It'd be better and then he'd come back for his next one and it'd be better than that one. He just kept getting good and we'll see if they can keep it going with him. Um, he is way the horse to beat in here. Let's take a look at our top selections for the grade three Gulfstream Park Sprint Stakes. What kind of trip do you think Unified gets from the rail? Because in his two sprint starts last year, he showed legitimate gas. Is his hand forced from yeah. the inside? It's not a great pose. I don't, I'm sure Jerkins probably wasn't that thrilled to see him draw the rail for his first start back from the layoff. Um, on the other hand, there, to me, there's a chance that he's just a really good yeah. horse. And if he's, maybe he's not ready to have to lay off. Maybe he needs one. And even if he is 
almost ready. Maybe he's not ready for Mind Your Biscuits in a race because Mind Your Biscuits has been awful good. But this is a talented horse, and I'll give him a small chance to pull an upset here. One six for Mike, unified seven to two on the morning line. I'll go with Mind Your Biscuits. He's too short to really consider from a straight win standpoint. Six to five on the morning line, but I think he'll draft in behind Unified yeah. and Delta Bluesman and sort of follow early entry around on the turn. I'm hoping Unified needs one off the bench, so for me it's going to be six four. I'll try to get early entry into the yeah, number behind Mind Your Biscuits. If you're playing the Saturday Gulfstream card from home, a $300 sign-up bonus is waiting for you at drf.com slash trifecta. Join DRF Bets and you get that huge bonus. Approximate post time for the Grade 3 Gulfstream Park Sprint race number 12 is at 535 Eastern. You and I will be on for the up-to-date handicapping analysis on DRF Live beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern on live.drf.com. We'll see you then.